Oh yeah. What up? Uh Donner's basketball. Five boxes. Number twenty six. Come on down. eBay style. Uh I think it's the end of this case, because yeah. Yeah it is. Uh, I don't know if we have any more of this. All right, now it's cold in here. Uh, Josh, I think you would like the Bowman better than this. In this product, there is an auto and a or a relic per box so it's not like it's a guaranteed deal but the autos on here are like all jokes aside surprisingly pretty nice it's just a fuck ton of base anyway good luck everybody let's do this thing where's my knife there's my knife. I see somebody picked up the Titans. Thank you, Evo. The Titans are gone in NT football. See, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. That NT will fill. Oh, I was like, you're still waiting to get that? I was like, there's no way. You would you would have sent me a nice long message if that was the case. Look at that. I actually bleeding for you guys. Yep, Bucks traded for JPP. I don't know uh, how good that's going to make them. You know, if that trade would have happened like five years ago, awesome. But now, I don't know. I think college basketball is uh, underway right now. On CBS. What is that? Loyola against Nevada or something? Yeah. The Finns are turning into the Browns. Uh, uh. Yeah, I guess. I mean... No, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. You know, the Browns, at least all the moves they've made this offseason, they're trending up. <laughs> Whereas the Dolphins are not. Unless we draft the quarterback in the first round, and it's who I think it is, then it would be fucking noise because I want Baker Mayfield is it the most Florida shit you can do I mean I'm not a uh, dude I've, I've had my fair share of, of instances with fireworks my hands are perfectly fine you know I've had my fun with fireworks you know putting them in in fucking in people's mailboxes or in exhaust pipes and whatnot. You know, it's 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 definitely up there. Gators were all over. Yeah, Gators are all, all over Florida, but now we also have this thing called the uh, Burmese pythons because we have jackass people that think it's a good idea to to have pets that grow over ten feet and are large enough to eat a small child. And then once they realize that they can't really keep that animal, 
they release it into the wild. So, yeah. Now that's a thing here in Florida. Florida is basically like Jurassic Park. Like a broke man's Jurassic Park. Come on down. Come visit. All right. See what we got. What is this? A rated rookie to 99, Jonathan Isaac, Magic. Uh, well, Michael, probably, it's, I don't know how, it's, it's probably cheap. It's probably cheap, and you don't have to worry about putting up a fence, because nobody's going to trespass on your territory. You just straight shoot their ass. Florida's a little crazy, but I love it. I love Florida. It's, it's home. It's home. Dick. Patrick Beverly to 29 Rockets. Yeah, foul. Fence is not going to stop a snake anyway, so just. <coughs> just let one let one come all. If you trespass, I'm going to shoot you. Because that's just what we do in Florida. Everybody got a gun. What do we have here? Walter McCarty. Autograph for the Celtics. Would have been nicer if that was Jason Tatum, but still got four other boxes to go through. This stuff is tough to hit, man, but if you manage to get one of those rated rookie autos, it's nice stuff. Manuel Moutier to 199 Nuggets. A vid of a Gator jumping into a tour boat. There's no, what's funny about that? What's funny about having a descendant of a dinosaur just straight up fucking jump on your boat? Hell no. And then, you know, that's why we stay strapped down here in Florida. Everybody got a gun because you never know. You don't got to worry about the humans. You got to worry about gators and, and dinosaurs and shit like that. Marquise Chris, 289, sons. Listen, you guys talk a lot of crap about Florida, but I guarantee it, if you ever come, you'll, you'll probably love it. I love Florida, man. There's there's no place like home. There is no place like home. It's most mostly South Florida, of course. Jason Tatum. So this was a Celtics box patch right here. Worst idea ever. Whatever, Josh. Where are you from? Where are you from, Josh? I'll wait. I will wait. For your response. Mm, that's not a rookie card. Alright, first box down. I did call the Tatum, but it would have been nice to get uh to get some ink on it. You're from PA. What is that? Philadelphia? Pennsylvania? Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Was So that's that's where you're from, Pennsylvania.
Yeah, see, all I know about Pennsylvania is Philly. So, therefore, y'all aren't even, like, on my radar. Which means you're not even worthy of me making fun of you. So, there's that. Whereas Florida, you can talk all the shit you like. Like, what the, what the fuck is there to do in Pennsylvania? Go vote? Hey, listen, don't sleep on the bow and arrow. Yeah, don't forget who the only undefeated team in NFL history is either, Josh. You want to talk about old shit? Let's talk about old shit. Y'all are last year's champs. That don't even count no more. You guys had your week or two to enjoy it. Now that's old news. Nobody cares. Only people that care are people from, from Pennsylvania. Specifically Philadelphia. Well, Josh, I mean, that's that's just a low blow, dog. That's just a low blow. But if you really want to take it there, how about them Sixers, dog? When's the last time they won a championship? 1970-something? <laughs> well, listen, you can't rep two teams. You got to pick one. You're either a Steeler or you're, or you're an Eagle. Like... Like I'm a dolphin. I you you don't sit you don't see me here juggling the Jaguars and the Buccaneers. Fuck those guys. What did I, what, why, why, why Chris Fitz? What the fuck? Alright, box two time. Yeah, that's, the, the man, the man is hot for some reason. I hit him a one-on-one Joe Namath, but, you know, how quickly they forget. Vikings did pretty decent in number two. They did all right. You, if anything, you should you have nobody to blame but yourself, dog. You have nobody to blame but yourself. Exactly. You told me what was going to happen, and yet you did nothing to buy them. Trevor Ariza, Rockets patch. It's like I, it's like I tell you, man. Buy your team every time, and you're going to hit every time. It's a numbers game. Kemba Walker to 299 Hornets. Nevada looking like they about to blow out Loyola. Loyola knocked out Miami, so I'm kind of rooting for him. The fuck is UCF? The University of Central Florida? Which has an amazing campus. It's like they have their own city, but it's 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 Orlando. So ill. Josh Jackson to 199. They can party their ass off, I will say that. Oh Fitzy. UCF football national champs? No, they're not. No, they are not. No, they're not. They had a great season, undefeated, whatever. But I mean, UCF. I don't. They're not even like a. Are they? What are they like? Division two. Anyway, 
to 299 Ante Zizic Cavs. They're probably not even a Division II school. I think they're like Conference USA or something. <laughs> oh yes, UCF women are. You know what though? They're all sluts, Jason. Let's just let's just get that straight. Josh Hart to 99 for the Lakers. They they they're they're all they're all sluts. Let's just 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 change that. Replace UCF with ALL and we're good to go. The campus at UCF is actually really nice, man. I, I went to school in Orlando for a year, a uh, college or whatever. Um, and I, I would go to UCF just to hang out and, you know, pretend like I'm a student there. And there's definitely a lot of hot girls there. But there's hot girls everywhere. Seth Curry to 199 Mavericks. So, like, whatever. The campus is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's beautiful. It's really nice. It's fucking huge. It's like they have their own city. Like, legit. Like, legit, they have their own city. It's It's gorgeous. Um, with that being said, I'm just not a fan of Orlando living. It's way too slow. And there's nothing to do except, like, get hammered and go to Disney. And at the time, I was, like, I was 18 years old when I moved out and I went to college. So I could not buy my own alcohol. The state of Florida, I mean, yeah, Florida State won a national championship a couple, like a few years ago, if I remember correctly. And, you know, the Gators had the little run, you know, they, they think they were cute, blah, 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 but like, everybody knows that it doesn't matter unless the U wins. Because everybody in Florida knows it's a UM thing. You know, Florida State can, oh, yeah, you know, what, 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 what about recently? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's cool. Whatever. But nobody cares about Florida State. Only Florida State cares about Florida State. And then the Gators are like the stepchild of, uh, of the football teams. Now, yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's cute, Josh. That's cute. That's cute. I just want to see one championship in my life for the Dolphins. That's all. That's all. All right, box three time. I think it's a curse. I think it's Marino's curse for sure. I mean, since he's since he retired, we've had a shit ton of quarterbacks, and they've all been garbage, with the exception of uh, of Jay Fiedler. I like Jay Fiedler. Jay Fiedler was like slightly above average quarterback, and at least he got us into the playoffs consistently. I can't say that for everybody else. Oh, and Chad Pennington had his one season. Dilly Dilly. There's a new Dilly Dilly commercial? Dilly Dilly. A keg of Bud Light is changed every six seconds. Huh. That's a random fact presented to me by... Uh by the internet. Whenever the sun don't shine on the west side. OJ McDuffie. Old school dolphin right there.
Alright, we'll see what's in this thing. Uh, well, like I, like I said, Dave, it was a locker room issue, man. It was a locker room issue. He was just a problem. Buddy heads with the coach. Not good, not good. He, you know, JJ has to, he had to understand he's a soldier. Yeah, we were in the playoffs 2016, and then we got fucking destroyed by the Steelers in the in the playoffs. Goran Dragic to 199 for the Heat in the wild card. At that, we made the wild card, and we got fucking titty titty fucked. We got titty fucked. My dude, James Johnson with the autograph for the Heat. James Johnson has been balling this year. Yeah, Tannehill got us to the playoffs, but it was more so our defense. We had a really good defense that year, and Jay Ajayi got us into the playoffs that year. That's the year. That's why everybody knows Jay Ajayi was because of that season. He was balling. He was averaging like six, seven yards per carry. It was crazy. So Tannehill just happened to be the quarterback, but if I have to put a – put put. Give a player that 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 uh what that accolade I would go J J I J J I is the reason why we made the playoffs that season. Marco Fultz seven out of ten for the Sixers. That's pretty pretty big. Marco Fultz. I don't know if you guys have seen Marco recently, but his jumper is wet like water. He, he, he no longer, it doesn't look like he has that hitch anymore. Uh, Chris Fitz, I don't even know how to read that. Um, what is this? 299 Rade Zagorak for the Grizzlies. Luke Kennard to 189 Pistons. Oh. Really, Fitz? Really? Damian Lillard, Blazers patch. That's that's my signature. That's like my my signature thing. Is being the lovable rascal. Donner's basketball. I I guess Josh. I I mean I I guess. I'm at I'm at the point where like I don't even care as long as the Patriots don't win. That's where I'm at right now. Back is the boy. How many more boxes I got of this? Two more. Dos Mas. Alright. There's that. Uh, eight seventeen left. Last I checked, Chris. That's that's the saddest part about being a Dolphin fan. Is that like you don't even root for your team, you just root against the Patriots. No, Dave, I do not. I do not. I uh quite frankly, I hate his guts. I, I really well strong is a hate word. Strong is a hate word. You know, let's have us a little discussion uh for Tom Brady. 
How many Super Bowls has Tom Brady been to? Frank Gore to the Dolphins is pretty hilarious. Nah, Dave, I can't, I can't root for a franchise that constantly cheats, gets caught for it, and gets like a little, a little slap to the wrist, and that's it. So Brady's been to eight Super Bowls, and he's won how many? He's won five. So how could, how could you be the greatest quarterback of all time if you lost three Super Bowls? Last time I checked, I think it was Joe Montana's 5 for 5. Come on, Pappy. Keep it G, Pappy. Keep it G. Keep it G. Oh, this, oh, they suspended Tom Brady three games. That motherfucker should have been suspended the entire season. Fuck out of here. Spike, it was just cameras placed in the wrong spot. Exactly. Oh, LeBron can never be the GOAT. Yeah, oh. Pfft. Yes, Dave. You are 100% right. He can never be the GOAT. Montana's 4 for 4. That is the GOAT right there. Not Brady. Brady is 5 for 8. I don't even know what that percentage is, but it's not 100%. I'll tell you that. That's why Jordan is the GOAT. 6 for 6. LeBron could never be the GOAT. LeBron's like 3 for 8 or something. <laughs> nah, listen. I love LeBron. Great player, but not the GOAT. No, not the GOAT. <clears throat> Brady's not the GOAT. How can you beat the GOAT when you lose to Peyton Manning's, you know, you know slow younger brother and then you lose to a backup quarterback in the in the playoff in the, in the Super Bowl no you're not the goat yeah but it's the Colts Josh nobody gives a fuck about the Colts it's all about it's all about the Patriots damn it Brady took down one of the best defenses ever. You mean Vinatieri took down one of the best defenses ever. Nobody ever talks about that. Each, all five of Tom Brady's Super Bowl victories, he can thank uh, Vinatieri for those. Tell me if I'm lying. No, Josh, just just the Patriots. Just solely fuck the Patriots. Everybody else, I don't care. But fuck the Patriots forever. Or at least until, you know, they start losing again. Well, Pappy, come on, dog. That's the part of being a troll. Greg Monroe, Pistons patch. Pappy, I love how Pappy gets, like, so into the Patriots. When he knows I'm just going to hate every single time. To 199, Jordan Clarkson, Lakers. Brady played lights out against the best defense, the Seattle Seahawks. And still had to resort to a kick by Adam Venetary. Right? Am I, am I mistaken on that? Am I, I, I could be wrong. I'm usually wrong. I just like fucking with people. <laughs> I really just love fucking with people. Brady didn't lose to the Giants or the Eagles. The defense let him down. Hmm. I thought it was a team sport, dog. I thought you win, you know, win as a team, lose as a team, bro. What happened there? No, that's not cool. Troll game at a thousand right now. Yeah, and the only reason you beat Seattle <laughs> was because of the dumbest play call of all time. <laughs> ah. Anyway, to 49, Dream on Green, Warriors. Huh? 
Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me pour some pimp in it. Listen, I, I ride or die with my fins, dog. All day, every day. Win or lose, that's my squad, dog. I don't feel like it, Pavy. I don't give a fuck about the Patriots. I really don't. Fuck them forever. Or at least until Tom Brady and Belichick retire. Because then they're just going to go back to sucking again. Pappy, I'll give you a pass because, I, you know, at least you say, oh, I was a fan when they were garbage. Okay, I'll give you a pass. Everybody else that's bandwagon and has only been a fan since the Patriots changed their jerseys and Tom Brady uh, started playing for them, I don't want to hear that shit. The 299 turns draws magic. I, yeah, actually, it's yeah, it's on NFL Films, Josh. It's on NFL Films, but with that with that old school NFL that kind of music, you know, makes it more epic. Well, there you go, Pappy. That's see, there you go. Don't please don't 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 let my shit talking uh, get to you. I do I do want to see uh, a little something here though. I just Super Bowl championships. I just I just want to take a gander at something. Let's see. In 2016 Well, that was against the Falcons. That don't even count. Falcons are just fucking disgraceful. No, they won by six. Okay, cute. What about... Uh, oh, look, they won by four points against Seattle, and that's because Seattle whiffed on that. Uh, what about the other one? Oh, look at that, three points against Philadelphia. Oh, Vinatieri, okay. What about 2003? Uh, one, hmm, I bet that was three points. Oh, look at that, three-point victory. Hmm. Uh, who was... Oh, yeah, Vinatieri again. 2001, it couldn't possibly be... Oh, look at that, another three points. Wow. Yeah, Tom Brady can suck it. Greatest of all time, but you need your kicker to bail you out. Yeah, okay. Anyway. Kevin Durant to 299. Warriors. Yeah, you're accurate, Pappy. I'm just really, I, you know, I got to hate because my team is just so garbage. Marching Gortat, two out of five for the Wizards. There you go. Boom. He led them into field goal range, but if he was really the GOAT, he would have scored touchdowns, dog. Oh, come on, Pappy. I don't know why you let me... <laughs> I don't know why you let me stir you into a frenzy, dog. You know I'm just going to troll. Are the Finns going to start wearing brown bag to the games? Nah. We're probably just going to wear like a chum bucket, you know, because we're the Dolphins. And, yeah. Just wear a chum bucket. Fuck it. Ooh, Eminem. I don't even want to throw that one out there considering he's a quarterback and not a wide receiver. But yeah. <laughs> Brady couldn't even catch the cold. <laughs> he Brady can't even catch a cold, much less a football. That's why he throws it and doesn't catch it. He, he, yo, he could have caught that, though. He really could have. But he, he didn't feel like extending. What? what? Just, just die for the ball, Tom Brady. I thought you was ultra competitive, dog.
Oh, no, listen. Don't get me wrong. Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of our generation. Hands down. Hands down. Mm, but with that being said, fuck that guy. Because he's so great. Oh, Pappy. Oh, Pappy. The tuck rule was an, was a, was a, an, elite, was an illegal call, too, and that still got called. So, hey, what are you going to do? You know, God forbid they call something against the Patriots, and you see what happens? Patriots ran the exact same play, and, and mm, I don't hear nothing about it. Oh, listen! Don't get me wrong, Dave. Tom Brady, I, I got I, you. Got to give respect where it's due. He, it's not even close. The best quarterback since the year two thousand. In the last 18, 20 years, he's been the best quarterback in the league. Like, not even close. Later, uh, but still, fuck that guy. If that's not ultimate respect, I don't know what is. Pappy, who gives a fuck? The Eagles are the champions. That's it. Be get over it. You guys got five. Let the Eagles get their one. Damn. Eminem, don't even bother getting into a, an argument with a Patriots fan. You're going to lose every time because they're going to fucking, you know... They're just going to buy you out of the argument. That's also true, Rara. Also very true. And look at look at him now, balling. Balling. Pappy, seriously, I don't know I don't know why you let me stir you into a frenzy, bro. You know I do it on purpose. It's so easy to piss off Patriots fans. <laughs> Pappy, you can't even admit that the better team you lost to the better team. Cause if if we're talking defenses, both defenses were atrocious. Eagles and Patriots. The Eagles outplayed the Eagles outplayed the Patriots, plain and simple. That's it. They lost. Get over it. The Patriots will be back in the Super Bowl next year. Book it. Y'all just so greedy, man. So greedy. I can't blame you, though, because I would probably be the same way, uh, same way. But my team don't win shit, so. Anthony Hardaway of the Magic. With the autograph. Now it was it was a very entertaining Super Bowl, and it was at least it was competitive. Zuki to forty nine for the Rockets. That's the case hit right there. The Dolphins definitely have a shot at being in the Super Bowl. On like Madden or something. But in real life, nah. Yo, honestly, if the Dolphins were to like ever win a Super Bowl, I don't think I'd I don't think one, I don't think I'd be alive to see it. And two, I don't think I'd like I don't think my brain would be able to process that. Oh, Pappy, tell me about it. <laughs> tell me about it. Tell me about it. Now, at least Viking fans have something to look forward to, man. Vikings fans, at least, you know, the Vikings at least put together a nice product year in, year in and year out, and at least they're competitive. Can't say the same for the Dolphins. Nuggets patch, Joffrey Laverne, or whatever the fuck. Pappy, why would you? Why would you be? Well, listen. You know you're gonna lose when you come to Miami. That that just happens, Pappy. 
Patriots cannot win in Miami. That's just a thing. Uh, so, you know, there's that loss. Uh, but other than that, just dominate, bro. Keep dominating the AFCs. I don't give a fuck. To 299 J.R. Smith Caves. What if Kirk Cousins takes them to the Super Bowl? Then what? Then everybody's going to say, oh, you should have gave the man more money. Dude, I don't think I don't think Andrew Luck's gonna play another game, honestly. I, I really I don't think Andrew Luck's gonna play another game. Well listen, Christine, at least you're not a Dolphin fan, so you know. Thank you, Lucky Stars, for that. And, and, I mean, not only that, but Brissett also played, you know, he he did get to learn from the greatest of, uh, of our time, Tom Brady. Yeah, Pappy, they, they, they've, they've abused the fuck out of that guy. I think Andrew Luck might be done. It's a shame, man. Because that guy, that guy was a baller. But that's what happens when your offensive line can't protect the quarterback. He's going to get smashed. Why do you think Tom Brady's in the in the shotgun at all times? Tyler Lydon to 189 for the Nuggets. You know what I'm going to say, Pappy? Not a popular opinion here, but I'm going to throw it out there. Jimmy G is not going to be the next big, big, big thing. I think Jimmy G is, uh, at this point, overrated. Not a popular opinion, but it's my opinion. And that's it for the break. So I'm going to random this. We got Anthony Hardaway Magic. Marching with Top Wizards. Marco Fultz, 7 out of 10. That's pretty nice. Not an auto, but worthy of showing. James Johnson for the Heat. Josh Hart, Lakers to 99. And Walter McCarthy for the Celtics. And that is it for the break. 2017-18 Donruss Basketball. Five box break number 26. eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you.